Right, so recently there has been some teacher drama that has went viral on TikTok that has caused a big uproar, if you will, a big old debate. And it all started with this TikTok account by someone called Goodbye20s, or her actual name is Brie Vimer, I believe it's pronounced. She's got a pretty big account, it's got 700,000 followers, and her bio says unhinged parenting, and that is kind of the theme of her whole channel. I mean, for example, we have this video right here where she apparently sent a $58 Venmo request to a friend after she came to her house for a dinner party. I sent a Venmo request for $58 to my friend and her husband, after they came to my house for a dinner party. She sent me the rudest text message back. So look at these texts and tell me if I was in the wrong. After the dinner party was over, I sent her a text and I said, hey, your share of the dinner party is $58. Please Venmo me. Her response was that the dinner party was at my place, so she should not be getting a bill for a dinner at my house. Okay, so the reason why I picked this video is because it ties into like the video that most people having a debate about at the minute. But the one one problem is, I'm pretty sure everything that is on Bree's page is fake. I don't think this is a real story. She shows the name of the person as well, like who she's talking to. I doubt you do that as your friend. But also just having a look at this conversation, I would like to believe it's not real, right? She's put like, just wanted to let you know I kept track of everything and you and your husband ate and used during the dinner party. The total came to $58. I know this sounds meticulous, but everything is so expensive these days. And then she sent a list of everything they used that included electricity to ring doorbell two times, 50 cents. <laughs> I don't think it's real. There's also this video about her son's school, which isn't the video that's caused like this big uproar. We'll get to that in just a second. But again, I don't think it's real. School called me and told me I was required to send at least one vegetable in his lunch every day. Unfortunately, my son refuses to eat any sort of vegetable, so I had to get creative. The one food he will always eat is anything sugary, so I had to get creative and disguise his dessert as the classic school snack, ants on a log. I made this cake. Yeah, okay, right. So you get the point, right? He's supposed to be eating something healthy. She says, fuck that. I'm going to make something that looks healthy that isn't. I mean, this is the finished result right here. Not exactly the most appealing thing, in my personal opinion. But again, I think she's joking here. It's her type of humor, I guess. There's also this one as well, talking about the same stuff, like the schools ask for no sugary treats or whatever. And just put a sugary treat in a bag and said, I identify as an apple, which is probably the most unoriginal joke you could possibly make. So even though I don't personally understand it, I, I don't get what she's doing with these videos. I am pretty sure they're not real. And that brings us to the most recent video, the one that has caused kind of the uproar that we're seeing over the last couple of days. I just got a Venmo request from my son's teacher asking me for money for all the items that my son damaged in her classroom throughout the school year. I cannot believe that this is real life. This does not seem like something that teachers typically do. She's asking for $370. This does not feel like a normal thing that teachers do. Maybe it is. But look at this email she sent to all of the parents. And then I asked for a list of the items with the cost of everything Tatum broke. The thing is though, right? Like I am saying that I don't think any of this is real, but that is like quite a professional looking email to fake. But again, like the other videos, she showed the name of the person who did this, right? So Juliana Silva. I'm assuming that this isn't like a real teacher or anything like that. I would like to think that she hasn't just put like her son's teacher on blast in a public TikTok video. But she also has a list of stuff here that apparently her son broke in the classroom and now she has to pay for like a classroom globe, educational games and puzzle pieces, science kit materials, art supplies, classroom chair, broken leg. And apparently it comes to a total of $370. Now, obviously if this video was real, you can imagine what the response would be like to this. It's basically saying like, okay, well, if the teachers had to pay for it themselves and your kid has broke them, then yes, you should have to pay for it. I also have never heard of teachers doing this before. Like maybe they do it and I just wasn't aware of it. Of course, never been a teacher. But yeah, if this was me in a situation the teacher paid for themselves and my kid broke it, of course you're gonna pay it. I get that teachers aren't paid enough, but charging me $80 for missing puzzle pieces that my son apparently lost, what kind of puzzles is she buying? Also, charging him for a chair that broke, maybe the school should buy sturdier chairs. I don't think I'm going to pay this. I think there's a lot of other parents that agree with me in his class, but 
let me know what you think and if this is a normal thing for teachers to do. Okay, so that's a video. She ends it off by saying that she's not gonna pay any of it. As you can imagine, there's a bit of backlash in the comment section, like this one right here saying the real question is, why is your kid damaging that much stuff? Why is the teacher accountable for items your child lost or broke? But again, I don't think that this situation is real, right? Like there's people commenting saying, like you charging $36 for a play date. She's replied saying that is acceptable though. Also in this letter she's shown in the video, it's dated 2025. But even though I'm pretty sure that this isn't a real situation, it has resulted in real backlash. And these videos responding to this situation have went pretty big, right? We have this video, for example, that has 103,000 likes just talking about this. She's surprised that like it's $80 for a puzzle piece. Like her justification is, what puzzles are you buying? Um, they're probably enrichment puzzles. They're probably very expensive puzzles that were catered to a unit that was probably very hard to find. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she probably actually put $80 for the puzzle to kind of give like a hint that it's not real. That's what I'm assuming anyways. But I would be interested to know your opinions, even though like, like I said, don't think this specific situation is real, but it has caused a real debate. So let me know what you would have done in that scenario. You think this is a joke? Like when your school asks that you send your kid to school with one healthy food item in their lunch, you make celery, cake like you make cake to mimic green frosting to look like celery and you put that in his lunch so it looks like he has ants on a stick yeah i think she has definitely got the reaction that she was after again pretty sure it's not real so um this is probably what she was after and people are kind of like buying into it and don't realize that's what she's after. I mean, it's rage bait content. That's the whole point of it, right? She's making content just to make people annoyed, which again, I don't really understand. There's a few pages on TikTok that do this and just say like it's satire, but I don't get it. If someone could explain, please let me know. Is that enjoyable to people? I'm confused. What gets me is that she's surprised that she is asked to be held accountable for the things that her son damaged in his classroom. Yo, some of you parents, some of you boy moms, be so for real. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, there are people that are annoyed about this and the comment section is no different. We should have parents sign contracts upon enrollment stating that they'll be financially responsible for anything their kid intentionally breaks. Are you kidding me? If my daughter broke something, I'd be asking for the link to purchase a new one. She misplaced a library book and I went and, and she just cut off, I'm assuming she said she went and bought it. Why aren't people embarrassed anymore? I'd be embarrassed if my kid destroyed things and I'd be sure as heck pay them for them. I mean, that's got 16 and a half thousand likes, right? Like. A lot of people are angry about this. And in fact, this same TikToker made a second video react to a different video that this person made. I sent a Venmo request for $36 to my son's friend's mom after they came to our house for a play date, and she sent me the rudest response. Venmoing another mother for hosting a play date with their child is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Maybe it's just because of the way I grew up, but I grew up as one of the only households that were homeowners on the streets. So a lot of our kids would rotate out. And my parents always told us, don't go to their houses because they're often tight on money. And it was true. Look, I get it, right? Like if this situation was real and this is how he'd respond, it'd be fine. But I think he um, should probably like dig a little bit deeper into it because I think it is pretty obvious that it's not real. If money is that bad, you shouldn't be having kids because that tells me you probably can't afford enrichment. Money is too tight, like, and it gives your kid a bad look. It gives your family a bad look because that's what cheap families do. Okay, I'm not really sure about that statement right there. It's not as if like every kid is plan for like people don't always plan to have a kid when they have them there can be so many different circumstances with that so i don't think that is fair to say but look like i said before this is exactly the reaction that i think that she has wanted from these videos she's probably watching these at home being like oh yeah pl please keep reacting you're doing you're doing me a great service here but yeah if there's anyone watching this who does also watch like these like satire creators where they just kind of like make up stories and that's kind of like, the whole point of their content and try to get people angry about it please let me know like why? I I'm very confused by that type of content, and maybe I'm just being stupid. And like I said before, if I just came across the original video, I wouldn't even be talking about it right now. It's just because I've seen so many videos. I'm literally scrolling down my For You page, and all I'm seeing is people responding to this woman. And again, to me, it looks pretty obvious that it's not a real story. But yeah, either way, I'm going to leave it there. It was probably a bit of a short video, so I apologize for that, but I'm not going to go through every single person who was annoyed about the situation. And this was just a situation that I couldn't escape when I was scrolling for an idea today. It was so many people who responded to this, so 
So I thought, right, let, let's just talk about it. And again, I'm pretty sure it's not real, but who bloody knows at this point? But either way, if you did enjoy the video, please do have a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? Goodbye.